Friday, Clayburn, and today I'm going to be putting together LEGO's new Space Shuttle set that came out this summer. It's set 31066, and it comes with two awesome uh, optional builds. One is sort of a lunar base, and the other is a lunar truck that reminds me a lot of Moon. I really like LEGO's Space Shuttle sets, Clayburn more even than their other LEGO sets. They have a sense of reality to them that I like from the creator and the city that you don't get from most of LEGO's other sets. This sense of familiarity helps you see how the set really unfolds as you go. I also am a huge fan of NASA and their mission, as you probably know from my talking about my visits to Space Center Houston this summer. And I'm not sure if you remember it, but when we were kids, Jim Lovell came and spoke at the community college about being a man in space but not on the moon and what it was like for Tom Hanks to play him. I went to this talk. I don't remember how I got tickets, but it's maybe one of the most important moments of my life looking back. Because I, like most 90s kids, really wanted to be an astronaut. I went to the event, and afterwards I went up and got to shake Jim Lovell's hand. And, like most every kid there had been coached to ask, I asked him how I could start preparing to be an astronaut. And while my question wasn't quite... Uh, unique. His answer for me was uh, probably different. In the nicest way possible, he informed me that, given the current NASA standards, I couldn't become an astronaut. Not through any fault of my own, but because my vision was just too bad. And so as I am putting together the space shuttle this week, it made me think of how dreams work. Because this set has a little bit of fact and fiction sewn together. The reality of a usable spacecraft and the hope of a permanent extraterrestrial base. And I think, Clayburn, that this is a little of how dreams are. A whole bunch of my youth was swallowed up by being inspired to chase after being an astronaut, a goal I could never actually achieve, and I wonder if how I feel now is how some people felt when they first embarked on the journey to go to the moon, just knowing the impossibility of it. But here we are. NASA is now planning manned missions to Mars, and we have the internet and Velcro and GPS on Earth. And I don't get to interact with any of this, really, but I have these small building blocks to capture some of that hope-like bottled fire. I don't put a lot of weight into the goals that I had as a kid, Claiborne, not the specifics anyway. I certainly find value in the fact that I had them, that it, for some time, however brief, I had a goal to be a Ninja Turtle or an astronaut long before I became a chemist or a teacher or a programmer. But reflecting on them is much, or maybe more, relief than nostalgia. Because we need safe venues to live out our dreams, Claiborne, without escaping our realities. This is what video games are great for, and it's what Legos are great for too. The ability to build and experiment and play and pretend. I like to tell the Jim Lovell story. It's cool to have met Mr. Lovell, and it's kind of a bit of a funny story. But also, I'm grateful for an adult who spoke truth into my life without crushing my dreams. I really liked this set, Claiborne. The uh, minifig comes with a really cool backpack, and of course you get the sort of standard satellite with a nice branching arm. One thing that this set does a lot different than previous iterations of the Space Shuttle is the way that they positioned their boosters, which I thought was really, really cool. I'll talk to you next week. Over and out. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off. The